Paano i-solve ito? That's what we're going to talk about today. This video is brought to you by the Team Laika Review Books. More about those later. Hi there and welcome to Team Laika where we try to help you prepare better for your next exam. And today you're going to talk about how to solve that problem. I'm going to show you three different ways on how to do that. But just a quick little reminder if you haven't done it yet, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit that bell icon, and you like your video so that more people can see this at the salami patayang matulungan. Okay? Now let's jump right into our lesson. Today we're going to talk about percentage change. Basically, how to find out kung ilan yung percent na in increase or decrease ng isang bagay. And I also need to tell you na meron na tayong full discussion on discount word work problems. Meron tayong playlist na nilink ko na lang din para mapanood ninyo. But today, ang focus lang natin ay yung ano ba ang percent change. Plus 15%, minus 20%, paano yun makuha? Now, the first method that we're going to use is yung algebra. Kung gagamitin natin ito ng formula. The formula works like this. If you have your OP or original price, kung numbers sa pinag-uusapan, original number. Tapos dahil ng discount ka, magsusubtract tayo ng percentage, so x yung percent na yun, multiplied by the original price, or yung original na number, equal dun sa new price, or yung price after the change. Now, kung isa-substitute natin ito, using yung mga information given sa problem, ang ilalagay natin na original price, or yung nauna, initial na number, or initial price, would be 180. Kasi, doon nagsimula yung presyo. So, 180 minus x pa rin, kasi hindi pa rin natin alam yung percent, multiplied by 180 pa rin, kasi siya yung original price, equals sa 144. Now, ano tong 144 na yan? Ito yung given na bagong presyo ng shirt. 144. Now that we have that, pwede na natin siya isolve. This right here, i-multiply natin yan, magiging... 180x, this will be 180, 144. Next step ay ilipat itong negative 180x sa kabilang side para maging positive siya. At ililipat naman natin yung 144 dito rin sa kabilang side. Meron tayong video on solving equalities, ililink ko na lang din dito, okay? This will be 180x, and this will be 180 minus 144. That will give us 36 is equal to 180x. We divide both sides by 180 to get the correct answer. So all that, just to get to 36 divided by 180. Long division na lang, and again, may video tayo on long division, panoorin nyo na lang yun. <laughs> ang ibig sabihin nito, gagawin natin lang siyang zero, kasi hindi naman kasha ang 180 sa 36. Now, pwede na tayo magbaba ng mga zero. 360 divided by 180 is 2. 2 times 180 is 360. Pag sinubtract natin, wala na yan. So, the answer is 0.2. Na ano ang 0.2? Kung discount rate ang pinag-uusapan at percentage ang sagot. Ang 0.2 in percent, we just move this twice, 20%. So, ang discount rate ay 20%. Again, using this formula. Another option that we can use is just to solve it using practical math. Kung nagsimula ka sa 180, naging 144, ano ang pinagkaiba niyang dalawang yan? So, isusubtract na lang natin sila to get 36. So, the question is, what percent of 180, which is the original price, is 30? Six. Anong percentage ng 180 ang 36? Kasi yun yung nabawas. Now, to solve this equation right here, this will be x times 180 is equal to 36. Of kasi means times pagdating sa math. From here, we can solve na by canceling yung 180 sa side na ito para maiwan ng x. So, we will divide this by 180. This will bring us to our answer kanina rin, nag-long division na tayo, which is 0 0.2. Tapos, let's change that into percentage, 1, 2, we move it twice. Again, 20% pa rin ang sagot. So, whether you did yung discount problem route 
or you just did this, same answer. Now, is there a better way of doing it? Another possible solution is using ratio rotation. I'll show you how to do it using the same problem. Formula natin doon, meron tayong peso side or price side, meron tayong percentage side. And then you have OP over NP, OP over NP here. Old price over new price, when it comes to the peso sign or the actual cost, that is going to be 180 over 144 equal sa percentage change. Now, ang original price is always 100%, given na yan. And now, yung new price, hindi natin alam. That becomes our X. Now, medyo malaki pa yung 180 over 144. Pwede ko pa siya lowest terms. Kung i-divide ko both sides by 2, this will give me 90 over 72. Parehong even, pwede pang i-divide sa 2 uli. Magiging 45 over 36. Parehong divisible sa 3, or actually sa 9 na lang para mas madali. This will give us 5 over 4. Mas madali nang ikutin. Kasi 100 divided by 5 is 20, times 4 is 80. Sibig sabihin nun, dating 100%, naging 80 na lang siya. 80% yung new price. Which means, kung yung 100, naging 80, ilan ang nabawas? 20. So, 20% ang sagot. Pareho lang dun sa kanina. Now, may mas mabilis pa ba? Now, this is also a great opportunity for me to talk about the review books. So, if you want more practice questions, if you want more exclusive techniques, and yung mga explainers ng mga speed uh, methods na ginagamit ko pag ako nagtitake ng exam, you can go ahead and get your own copy of the practice test booklets and the workbook sa m.me slash team like we ship all over the country so if you're interested message us on facebook para malaman ninyo kung paano kayo makakakuha ng inyo pagdating sa exam meron mga options so we can use trial and error ang tanong paano ko yun gagamitin now let me show you how i would do it kung meron namang options using the same question anong nangyari kung nagsimula ka sa 180 at natapos ka sa 144 ilan yung discount ang gagawin ko na lang is to see what is 15% of 180. Madali na lang yan kasi ang 15% is just 10 and 5. 10% is you just move the decimal place one time to the left. So, 18 ang 10%. And ang 5% naman ay kalahati ng 10% which is 9. This is 27. So, check ko ngayon. Ang 180 ba? Minus 27 ay 144? Hindi. Ibig sabihin nun, Hindi pwedeng sagot ang letter A. At kung itutuloy ko na i-subtract ang 27 sa 180, that would give me 153. Ibig sabihin, ang sagot has to be higher than 15%. Ang 20%, pwedeng dalawang 10%. At dahil ang 10% ng 180 ay 18, pwedeng natin gawing 18 plus 18 or 36. Pag binawas ko, sa 180 ang 36, ang lalabas ba ay 144? Yes. Dahil tama na yan, yun na ang ating sagot. So this really is a question of saan ang mas mabilis para sa'yo. Do I use the formula sa discount word problem? Divide the difference between the two numbers doon sa original number to get the percentage? Do I use ratio rotation? Or do I use trial and error? Now, I believe that the best way for you to remember this lesson is to answer a quick quiz. So if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Sa so, unang question, sabi what is the percentage increase from 250 to 350? Again, we have multiple options here. Pero we're going to go with yung formula and then yung ratio rotation. Ang difference ng 250 at 350 is plus 100. Sa so, kung ko yung 100, tinanong ko lang, anong nangyari sa 250 para maging 350 siya? Nagdagdag ako ng 100. 
which means kung gusto ko malaman kung ilang percent ng original number yung 100, I will just divide it by 250. Writing it like this makes it easier na ilawas terms ito. Divide both sides by 50. You have 2 over 5. 2 divided by 5 is 0. Point. Dalagdag na tayo 0 dyan. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Pag sinubtract natin, wala na matitira. So we have 0 0.4, pero hindi pa siya percentage. So we will move the decimal place twice. Yeah, may sound effect. The answer is 40%. Using ratio notation naman, you have the original number and the new number. Original number, like wala ka sa 250, naging 350. Sa percentage side, nagsimula ka sa 100%, anong nangyari? Again, pwede natin i-lowest terms. Madali nito iikot, pwede ko na siyang i-ratio rotation. 100 divided by 5 is 20. Times 7 is 140. Now, kung 140 ang kinilabasan, kung yung dating 100 ay naging 140, nagdagdag ako ng 40%. Again, same answer. The answer is 40%. Did you get it right? Next, we have this. Yung estate ni Mr. Cruz, it changed from 12.4 million to 10.54 million. What was the percentage change? If you use each method, nagsimula ako sa 12.4, naging 10.54. Isusubtract ko na lang siya para makita ko yung difference nilang dalawa. This is going to be 6. Borrow tayo dyan, or magre-regroup tayo. And then, dahil hindi rin siya kasha, borrow din tayo dyan, magre-regroup din tayo, magiging 13. 8, this will be 1. The answer, ang difference nila ay 1.86. We'll divide that number by the original. Dahil yun ang difference nila, we have 1.86 over the original number, or original na value na estate ni Mr. Cruz, 12.4 million. Dito pa lang pwede natin i lowest terms. Pareho naman silang even. Pag dinivide ko sila both sides by 2, this will be 0 0.93 over 6.2. Now, sa 93 at 62, kasha pareho yung 31. 31 times 2 is 62. 31 times 3 is 93. So, pwede ko pong palitin ito into 0 0.3 and 2. And pwede ko siyang isulat as 3 over 20. Or 3 divided by 20. Pwede na tayo magdagdag ng 0. Isang 20 ang kasha sa 30. You will be left with 10. Tapos, pwede pa tayo magbabuha ng isa pang 0. 100 divided by 20 is 5. Tapos, 100 na yung kalalabasan. The answer is 0 0.15 or, moving the decimal place, 15%. Now again, kung ratio notation... Ang gagawin natin, original over new equals sa 100 over yung changed na percentage. Kung ayaw kong mag-deal with decimals dahil pareho naman silang fraction, pwede kong i-move yung decimal place so that we get 1,240 over 1,054 na lang. Again, ilo lowest terms natin. Pareho ang divisible sa 2, 620 over 527. 620 divisible by 31, that will give you 20 over 527 is also divisible by 31, 17. Now, pwede na natin siya, erasure rotation. Iikot lang natin to dito, 100 divided by 20 is 5 times 17 which is going to give us 85. So, kung yung dating 100 naging 85, anong nangyari sa kanya? Nag-subtract tayo ng 15%. The answer, 15% for both. But again, kung exam at merong mga options, pwede naman natin i-trial and error. 15% is 10 plus 5%, one decimal place lang to the left. Here, we have 1.24%. Kalahati niyan, 0 
add natin silang dalawa, you have 1.86. Ang 12.4 ba, minus 10.54 ay 186? The answer is yes. So, ibig sabihin, letter A na ang sagot. If you got both questions correctly, that's great. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions naman here and on my Instagram account, my social media channels. So if you haven't followed this account yet, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit that bell icon. We have more videos coming up. And a quick thank you lang sa lahat ng mga channel members, supporters, channel sponsors natin, rookies, MVPs, and all of you guys who really buy the merch, buy the books, join us online review program. Thank you so much for helping me help more people through this channel. Now, as you always see, channel na to, never stop learning. Aja, aja, kain yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.